Hi guys, it's Rachel here and we are making some big things to go in the big pockets. So, uh, what I did was, this is one of my glue pages. I've got the sun here, so I'm going to move, move you over here. I've got Kareen, just a minute, I'll tell you here. I was watching and really enjoyed, to be loved, Treasures by Kareen. Hi Kareen. I don't know if she's watching these videos or just the stitchy videos, but I'm going to say hello anyway. And um, she's a very talented lady and I just love watching her videos and she's full of ideas and so enthusiastic. I just love that. Um, anyway, I'm going through here and I need to make something. I need to put some tabs on some of these pages. Oh, in for this pocket here. So what I did was I took my book page and I just trimmed off what I didn't need for about the width of that pocket. So I'm going to move this over onto my, well I might put it carefully, I'll put it up over there, hopefully it doesn't fall, it's on my sewing, little sewing table. I thought I would use this paper here and um, I'm going to glue it there and then wrap it round and then put some writing paper on the other side is my thought. So what I need to do is, I might have that down like that, so you can see a bit of the book page. Tear it. It's a bit late now, so we've got the sun shining, and these are great pieces to be able to use. I have the sun shining on my desk, so I I've pulled my camera so you, you sort of see less of the sun, so I hope it's not too bothersome. But I just wanted to do my video because... Um, I felt like keeping on doing these, but I did want to watch Kareen while I was doing it, but then I thought I should be videoing it. <laughs> so I put her on pause and I may come back to her. Um, probably um, tomorrow, because it's a bit late now. It's nearly time to cook dinner. So, um, yes. So let me see here. I want to have the lady. That's it. And then, oops, I've had it grow too much. I need to trim some of that off, I think. I'm going to put some sort of paper that can be written on. I could even take a piece of this. Oh no, that's going the wrong way. Um, piece of this one is what I'll take. Let's see how far over this one goes. Actually, it goes over a little bit too far, so I, I may just take a little piece off because I want there to be some writing space. Now I could have, what I could have done is tuck that under and make this a tuck, but I don't want to create more tucks. We have a lot of tucks. So I think I'll glue that down and then have the other paper going over the top of it. It's a fun way to create a big journaling spot. Okay, and then I need to take this. Let's just trim this off. And I'm going to, it needs to overlap, so I'm going to tear it there. Okay. Good. 
So I'm just going to move this because I can use that one to create another base. Oh, and there's a nice plain paper that I'll use. Okay. Oh, now the sun's gone. Let me just give you a tap and make sure you're in focus. Okay. There we go. Now when that dries, I think I'll punch the top, but I'm going to trim off this piece here just because it was a bit wide and a bit sticky. Snip my corners off. That I'm not gonna snip because I'm gonna punch that, but I'll do it afterwards because it won't work now. And I'm thinking I may like some sort of little labelly thing. Love those. Okay, they're all a bit big. That's a bit small. Well, because I think I've used up all my. No, they, those big ones, they're too big. So let's see here. be too big let's just trim this bit off I don't normally I normally leave that bit but I think I might snip it off that's better I think I'll put it there off to the side and then that's going to be trimmed okay or I could have it down no I like that where I put it before okay so we'll glue that on and then when it's dry I'll be able to punch the top and it's going to go in that pocket. I do like that. And so you can journal or write something on that bit there. Okay, so let's do another one. I'm going to grab my journal. And I might just slip that one on. I think it's just going to go really, really well with it too. So that's going to slide in there. That's all okay. I did make one for this one. I did it in a similar fashion. And actually I folded that paper over and I did glue it to a piece of glue book and then I put a piece of glue book over the edge. We'll probably do another one like that. And then I added a bit of ticking at the top. And I also made this one. So this one I made with the um, rag paper and I just loved that image. I wanted that to come out of that pocket and I just put some plain paper on the back and a little bit of my own um, sort of in inverted commas painted fabric at the top okay so let's see what else we need a big one again here for this so and I may put other things in but um, this is just getting these going so just going to take a little bit off there I could just fold that over couldn't I okay so let's choose some paper I'll just fold that over and glue it down so I could choose this let's see how we go there 
I may fold it over just a little bit, tiny bit further. There we go. Yes, I'm going to like that. And I'll take that off. Okay, so let's glue this on. And now because it's quite big, I will put my glue, my glue stick in the middle and just go round with my wet glue, which will make my life a lot easier. And I will thank the clouds for coming along because we don't have the sun shining on us anymore. Okay. I'm going to grab a wet one and clean that. Oh dear. I do not like these, I'll tell you what. They're very wet. Okay, let's put this on here. just covers it just okay good so now oh oh it's a writing page look it's already got a writing side I didn't even look at it I just grabbed it okay well it's got a double writing side well I might leave that I don't mind that I'm gonna trim it just a little bit there just keep it neutral wasn't intentional but that's fine and I could just put maybe let's see oh I've got my little scrap fabrics down here and they get they're getting things thrown in them and I feel like I might like a little bit of lace or something over there I'm going to just grab some glue other way and put a staple in there okay I do like that Very pretty. Perfect. That is going to go in. Just slide it down a bit further. There. Good. And I've got to put my bell. I've got to make something for here. So I might take this paper here. Take the bottom off. Yep, that's going to be good. Okay, so I'm going to put a little pretty paper on the reverse side. And I'm, I'm just wanting to use this one. I just love it. So, that 
bit and then I'm just going to fold the other side over a little bit and then I'll take that bit off. Here comes the sun. And then I'm just going to very slightly fold that. I love the look of that. It's just going to fold over there. on this side we're going to find an image in my pouch full of images we will see what we have anything I do like her there I think I have more to make for the other book And then, let's see. Don't want to use the same lace. Here's a bag of scraps. I don't think I've been in this bag for quite some time. there and I need something else. Maybe just that. Those two, okay.
Okay. Oh, wrong scissors. Put those on the other table so they don't get in my way. And I am thinking I might add a little piece of um, Amity's washi tape. Look at that beautiful chair, right there. Okay, pretty. Right, so I need to put that in its pocket. see if the other one is dry yet so that I can punch it. Yes, I think it is dry enough, so let's do that. And then I'll be back. I'll, I won't finish this video today, but I will be back to finish the... Oh, just... Um, big tags for the other journal. Not quite dry enough. But now I want to finish it. Okay. Okay, and that is going to slide in there, in its new home. You can just have that peekabooing out. So there we go. So we filled, I think we pretty much filled all of these pockets. That one's filled. I haven't decided, I think I might leave that. That can be for whoever to, um, it's actually Lords, not whoever, but um, to do themselves. That was a fairly plain tag, but pretty all the same. Maybe I could have, no, I want that to go in like that, that one. And then still got to put a belly band on there, but we're nearly finished. And a few, I've got to put a here. And then I've got to put in a few um, tabs and it will be done. So there we go. So I'll be back to do a couple of tags for the other one. Okay, so I'm back and I am just going to make some more big things to go in the pocket. So let's see where we're up to. That one I took out for some reason. See where we got up to. That's quite dark it. Um, some sort of ephemera in there. Oh, I do. I don't know why. I just love that. Is that funny how some things just grab you? Here, I need to make something there. So I'm going to take. Let me. No, that's not tall enough. I'm going to take one of my glue. What about this page? That's too tall. How tall is this? That's perfect. Right. So let's grab a glue page and oh, I've got an itch. I'm just going to tear down the width and that's going to be my base for my journal card, my journal card tag, whatever you want to call it. Okay. And that piece there is going to go in my to-do box because that is a nice piece to use to make a belly band or side tuck. Right, now, what do we have going on in here? I can't even remember. Um, I should remember. I'm just gonna grab any paper. Oh, itchy. Let's see over here. I have this. 
going to just tear off this one's edges. my journal up here I think just out of the way oh that's going to be good so I might just trim that down just a very slightly or put something oh, I think I'll just trim it down very slightly at the top and I'm going to wrap it around I think or am I not no I'm not I'm going to tear it off Okay, so we'll glue that on and then we'll adjust the height of it. I do have my little macchiato here. down and I'm going to well you know I might even just fold over the top how about that things just evolve as you go along so that's really the writing side I think or do I want to I'm, I don't want to cover all that lovely border so I'm just going to fold it over in a wobbly way like that okay cool right on there All right. no I think I'll decorate that and grab some old paper here we go what about this getting the hiccups Right, so we can glue that. I think I'll just run around that with my, um, what's it called, my wet glue, just around, excuse me, around the edges, because I'm I don't have a glue book page big enough to lean on. Otherwise, I'm going to get glue everywhere. Well, I will anyway, but less. Give that a little wipe. It's a bit sticky. I haven't cleaned it for a while. Okay. Right. Now I need scissors. something on here. I don't want to put it there because it's a bit wet. Let me see. Where is my... Uh -huh. Right. Something to go there. I don't know whether I want like one of these types of images or do I want flower or 
foods. House card. It's not revealing itself to me. I love that. That's not that's going the other way. Okay, so let's have a look at the flowers. I might take this really big one. Let's have a look at this one. Yes, I think that can be pretty there. I hope I haven't used it already. I can't remember because I've been doing it in bits and bobs. I can't remember if I've used things already or not. And then in the next video, I'll finish filling these pockets off camera. In the next video, I need to really have a think about those covers, which is normally I would do that first. Like, yeah, probably first or stitch the pages in and do the cover or do the cover and then put the pages in. But this time, I don't know, I just felt like working on the journals before I put the, did the cover. So, I mean, it's not a problem. Can still do it because I'm not covering the whole book cover I'm only doing it we'll be doing it in a corner somewhere because they're lovely covers I don't want to cover them up you know sometimes you have a feel for something straight away and other times you don't Okay, so let's put this one on. I know it's meant to be like that, but I'm going to put it at an angle like that, like it's a branch coming up that way. a little bit oh, I love that like so and maybe have a Tracy or oh, I think that's gorgeous oh maybe one of these Not that color this color oh that's meant to go that way no not that one So these are Tina's, obviously. That one. I love that one with the numbers of Tina. Absolutely love it. Actually, I haven't delved into Tina's kits for a bit. I need to get into those because I do really like them. Do some more things with them. Just, you know, too many things on the go. Just can't get to it all. And I'm going to put that one there. Yes. Okay, that's my little, my big tag for in here. There we go. Oh, and I need to do something with that. And I think I'll put a, I'll just put a washi tape there maybe. Put those over there. Um, this one. No. This one. Oh, I tore that one funny. That's why I'm having trouble finding where it begins. So I have that little piece there. I'm 
and just glue that there so it's decorated and covers the sticky bit. Right. I haven't decided. I think I might leave that. Because it is an opportunity to write or for someone to decorate themselves. I haven't done this yet. I think I'm going to put that on there. This piece of paper has been flying around on my table for quite some time looking at me. And I think I'm just going to give it a home and make it happy. So um, I'm just going to dip this in the water, not too much water, and just wipe it off. Okay, and I'm not still not sure here what I would like to do. If I'd like to put anything there at all. Hmm. Pocket could be interesting there. That's a thought. I, th I may put a pocket there, just a little one, and then it's still writable. I was leaving that like that. I may put something else in that pocket. I need to make something for that pocket. So we'll do that quickly. I have... That might be good. It's not quite tall enough. I still need... Oh, I've got to put a tab. So this could be my, my pocket. I do need to... My my base for my tag. Journal card, I should say. So it will be... Oh, no, maybe I don't want to use that. I think I'll use this again. Not that one, it's got stuff all over it. This one. Okay, so let's measure. I might use this beautiful rag paper page and then I'll just put something on there. I'm just going to take, I don't want to lose that brown edge, so I'm just going to take this off to here. Okay, that's going to glue on there. bit of glue around the edges just because I didn't bring my glue stick right to the edge. I'm going to put that up there and I may put a little something down the bottom. So what we can have a scrap. I've got scraps. Oh, I think I'll just put that there. That piece. No, that piece with the stamped bit. Let's move the book out of the way. I know otherwise I'll be pushed off camera. So today we are using the glue book pages as our base, which is one of the things I like to do. I, otherwise I just glue on them until I can glue no more. That's another option. Isn't that gorgeous? And then the reverse side needs 
some writing. I'll just put that over there. I may pull it out again. So I'm going to put this lovely old piece, no, this end. So the reason why I'm tearing it off here first is I can use that for something else. I do find that it's the easiest way to do this is if you, um, you know, take a scrap piece of paper as your base, and um, and get the size that you need for a certain pocket. If it's a, you know, there are certain size pockets that will take the multiple of tags and journal cards that I make in my case, and then I have the big ones, and I don't always have a stock of the big ones, so um, sometimes I just like to do what I'm doing now and and um, make them specifically for that pocket. So I'm going to skip the corners like I normally do because I just like that look. And I'm going to decide, do I want to put anything on here or will I just leave it like that? Because that is a glorious old piece of paper. You could just put something small off to one side, could be nice, but not that colour, it's not quite working for me. Got plenty of these cut out. Um, oh, what about if I Oh, I quite like that on the back. Why don't I do that for something different? How about that, guys? On the back. My logical thing is to put it on the front, but today I'm not going to be logical. I'm going to stick it on the back. Oh, and I ripped it. And who am I thinking of right now with, this, with these irises that I just ripped? I'm thinking of Wendy because she loves irises and they always remind me of her. I need to fix it up like a jigsaw puzzle. There we go. Can't even see. I did stick it too far over one side. Oh, I didn't snip that bit. And I honestly am just going to leave the front and whomever can decorate it because... I just love that piece of paper and I don't want to cover it and that is going to go in there but I think what I might do just a minute I could put oh I might put a little piece of I'm right down I'm gonna to have to do some more dotty things on my on my fabrics I might put that at the top as a tab just put a little bit of glue there just to hold it and a little bit of glue here and then I'm going to staple it and I don't think my stapler will want to go through it all but we'll see oh there's no staples in there well that would help I can only put one in at a time. It doesn't like two. I like usually my other stapler. Um, I can put in as many as I like. Oh, and it went through a dream. And I love that. Simple and lovely. Okay, so I think I'm going to end my video here. 
because I'm joining it to the one, the other part. And that is going to peekaboo out the top there. I haven't decided what to do here, but I can do that afterwards. That's like that. And we also made this to go in that one, which I absolutely love. So next time when I come back on, we're going to do the covers and then this project will be, I've got things to make still, but this project series of videos will be completed. And I think I will um, be starting on, where is it? I'm going to start on this here, this document journal nice tall document journey I'm going to journal journey journal I'm going to start on that I might do two of those or something so thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon bye